Hey guys, it's Jasmine. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have another light up card project. And this one is really cool because we're using vellum as the window, if you will. So I'm using this um, Concord Ninth Joy stamp set and die set. And I've got some teal shimmer cardstock and I've cut that out using a Wonky Stitches uh, die by Avery L. And I'm going to put some vellum behind our die cut joy. So using some score tape on the back. So we're going to do some stamping with this, we're going to do the same stamp set, and um, we're going to use the narrow letter joy, and we're also going to use the sentiment and the snowflake from that stamp set. And I'm using some Delicata Golden Glitz ink. This is a pigment ink, but I like this one because um, it dries fairly quickly, and you don't need to heat set it. Um, in fact, I prefer this ink without heat embossing on it, or, heat, or embossing powder, because I feel like it's shimmery. It's more shimmery without the embossing powder on top. Um, when you use clear embossing powder over the top, it kind of dulls it a little bit. So I actually prefer this ink just by itself. This is a pigment ink, so it does take, I don't know, between 15 to 20 minutes to dry, um, but it will dry without smearing. Unlike other pigment inks that I've tried that you pretty much have to heat set them or they'd never dry, this one does. So I'm just taking that snowflake stamp around the cover, adding it here and there. And you want to kind of keep in mind, you want to use your background stamps with the snowflake in odd numbers. When you have even numbers, your brain wants to pair them up. And if they don't pair easily, it looks off. But if you use odd numbers, it doesn't do that. And to clean my stamps, I use a microfiber cloth and um, the Ranger Clean Spray, or you can use uh, Hero Arts Ultra Clean Spray. I prefer those over baby wipes or um, one of the trays because it doesn't leave behind lint or little tiny particles that can kind of stick and, and give you issues. So for the middle of the O, to get perfect placement, you want to stick the die cut O back in and then add in your little middle piece and that way it's perfectly centered and placed. And um, you want to do this so that you have something behind which the little um, circuit can sit, the little light that we're going to add. And so it doesn't show up. You can't see it, but you see the light behind the middle piece. So here I'm using some Chibitronics. There's a kit you can buy um, that gives you the batteries, the copper tape, and the little lights. It also comes with a little booklet that gives you step-by-step -step instructions for how to build these circuits. And this one we're using is a really simple one, but they do have more complicated ones in there if you want to kind of explore how to build more complicated circuits. So I've used my, um, basically the letters to kind of give me placement for where I want the light to sit and where to put the battery so that the battery doesn't show, um, et cetera. So basically I'm just gonna go through and build my circuit. And this, the little um, piece of cardstock there is just a housing essentially for the battery. And this allows me to have a circuit that when you press down on the card, it's gonna light up, but it's not a permanently lit up battery, so you're not using all your battery up. And then have a dead battery in your car that you can't replace. So 
So the, the copper tape is fairly fragile, so you do want to kind of be careful with it. Um, it will tear, and you do need it to be intact for the circuit to work because electricity runs through the copper. Um, you can put stuff on top of the copper tape and it doesn't interrupt it. Um, so some kind of using, I said the letters I went back to the die to kind of give me a placement for where I could run my copper tape so that it wouldn't show up behind the letters any more than it needs to. Um, for the O, that does show up, but I do end up just putting a piece of cardstock over the top to kind of hide it so that you don't see it in the finished card. And I do uh, make a mistake in building this, this back part, not in the circuit part, but how I create it to, um, in the finished piece. Kind of having a hard time figuring out how to explain this. I do leave some slack in this copper tape here so that it's not going to tear when you're um, moving that back and forth. So they're adding our little light. And I don't adhere that last part down so it's a little bit of slack so it's not going to tear or put any tension on the copper tape that is stuck down to the cardstock. And then I do put on a little bit, um, put the backing tape back on it so that it is no longer sticky and it won't stick to anything when the cards put together. Um, so when you, if you decide to do this, leave this hole. I'm going to cut it off in a minute and then I will wish I hadn't cut it off. <laughs> so um, I'm putting some doubled up foam tape strips in as a housing from a battery so it doesn't move anywhere. And you want to make sure you don't expose the adhesive on your foam tape in this section, this little housing because that allows for um, the circuit to be interrupted. So there, don't do that because it ends up looking funny behind the panel. So just leave the cardstock hole. So there you can see when it's lit up, you can see the copper tape. So I have to figure out a way to kind of avoid that. So basically just fit some, some cardstock pieces in around to cover up the copper tape but then I wish I hadn't cut the whole thing apart. <laughs> so I left these kind of live and learn type of stuff in here so you can kind of learn from my mistakes so that um, this whole process is less intimidating for you to do it at home. So you're gonna wanna have some extra foam tape on hand to kind of build up this housing. And you're just basically giving it support on the back end so that it doesn't collapse and fold in on itself. And, and so you have a, a sturdy card. And a lot about card making is improvising sometimes anyway, so you just get really good at it. But these light up cards are a lot of fun to make. Sorry about my head in the way, I'm trying to get the placement just right. So you're not seeing anything behind the letters other than what you should see. So in the corner of the Y, you can see a little bit of the foam tape. So I basically just go with my craft knife and kind of carve out that little tiny section so that you don't see it. So now on the back side, I'm going to add a little bit more foam tape again for the support. And then um, on the white pieces, just use score tape to attach it to the card base. So lots of different kits you can buy for the Chibitronics. You can buy just the little lights. You can buy just the um, supplement pieces to it. But um, I really encourage you to get the kit because it's a lot of fun. And you can do all sorts of different things. This is just a one circuit card, but you can create several circuits in one card if you want to. It is a lot of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and do my background. Now, I didn't have any um, of the gold foil cardstock that matched the gold ink. 
So I'm gonna use some gold embossing powder to make my own background paper. So this is just a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half white cardstock. And I'm using some Simon Says Stamp Ultra Fine Antique Gold Embossing Powder on this. And I'm gonna use two layers. And if you get any like bubbles or anything in your embossing powder, just leave your heat on it for a couple more seconds, not a long time, and it should smooth that out. But you're only going to see about an eighth of an inch of this um, on the final card, so it's not super crucial. And I did do two layers of embossing powder on that just to make sure everything was nice and smooth. So I'm going to use some score tape on the back to attach to my card base, or the gold panel, and then the card base. But these are a lot of fun for anybody of all ages, male, female, kids, grandpas, everybody. Um, everybody loves a light up card. And you can get replacement batteries on Amazon as well. So that finished up the card today. So um, let me know if you have any questions. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys on the next one. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. And we will catch you later. Bye.